oh gosh, it's not VCC, is it? It's the voltage from here to here. So we're going to have to undo some of this. What would be the voltage drop across this device? Um, we have a 0.7 volt drop at the base to emitter junction, so IB is equal to uh, 30 volts minus 0.7 volts divided by 1 meg ohm, and that is equal to. twenty nine point three microamps uh, if let's see IC is equal to beta DC times IB so it's equal to one hundred times twenty nine point three microamps okay um, and that's equal to 2.93 milliamps. Okay, so um, IC is equal to 2.93 milliamps. Well, that helps. Uh, how do we find VCE? Uh, VCE is equal to VCC minus uh, how about the voltage drop across the the RC IC RC and we know the value of IC and RC so that is 29.3 milliamps or excuse me it's 2.93 milliamps let me get rid of some of this 2.93 2.93 milliamps times 5k ohms. VCE is equal to 15 volts minus 14.65 uh, volts is equal to 15.35. So what we would find is at about 15.35 volts, let's put the pin back on here, 15.35 volts right up to here should cross at 2.93 milliamps. Let's see, that is a out right there. <laughs> My uh, chart's a little bit off, but okay. So this should be uh, 2.93 milliamps at 15.35 volts. Okay, so that's the load line, and that's a explanation of the. Um, characteristic curve for a transistor. Now something to think about with this characteristic curve is each transistor will have its own characteristic curve. Where did we go? Some transistors will have a nice flat curve like this. I have seen some transistors have a curve. Looks like that. Um, I've at different different angles like this. They all have the same kind of breakdown here and same kind of saturation. Sometimes the active region is not as linear as we would like. Now the ideal one here has 
no change in current with a change in base, but uh, we know that's not true because when the transistor, the current started flowing uh, collector to emitter and a transistor, it actually heated up. And when it heated up, it allowed more current to go through it, which heated a little bit more, but it changes the uh, curve of this whole thing. Uh, until it gets to the point where we have equilibrium between the amount of heat that will give off and the room temperature. Uh, things to look at with a transistor.